welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our week one Canadian Football League preview between the Edmonton Eskimos and the BC Lions. So let's size up both teams in this matchup, starting with the Eskimos. Mike Riley is looking to build on a very solid 2013 campaign and what will be his second full season of starting for the Eskimos and there's no reason why he can't with an extremely talented and athletic core of receivers in Fred Stamps, Adarius Bowman, Nate Cahorn, and Shamad Chambers. Also expect to see a lot of rookie Devin Bailey out of St. Francis Xavier whose 6'5 frame makes him a matchup nightmare wherever he lines up on the field. The biggest question will be with the running game. John White will be the guy after the club surprisingly moved on from the talented to Hugh Charles in the backfield. Either way, White will be running behind a revamped offensive line that added Tony Washington from Toronto Argonauts via free agency. And defensively, their defensive line is as talented as the BC Lions. They can really bring it from anywhere along that defensive front with Odell Willis, Marcus Howard, and even Eddie Steele, the defensive tackle. Even at linebacker, when you look at Rennie Curran and J.C. Sherritt, that gives them threats to get to the quarterback from that second level. And they also added defensive back Pat Watkins via free agency from the Toronto Argonauts. That gives them a big body defensive back with ball skills that'll be a great compliment to Marcel Young on the other side. The BC Lions will be going into week one without Travis Lule at quarterback, but they'll be in good hands with the veteran Kevin Glenn, who isn't the runner that Lule is, but he's equally as good as a passer. Andrew Harris and his big play capability returns in the backfield. Harris can gash a defense quickly in the running game as well as a receiver out of the backfield. They're a bit banged up as well at the receiver position with Marco Iannuzzi and also Emmanuel Arsenal being out for this game. That'll put a lot of pressure and a lot of the onus on young guys like Ernest Jackson and Sidhu Jr. Hadira to keep some of the pressure off talented vets in Sean Gore, Keto Publa, and also Courtney Taylor. The Lions have one of the best offensive lines in the CFL with Javon Olafioy, Kirby Fabian, and Dean Valley. This is a very good group that does a great job in moving defenses off the spot. Now, defensively, Jabbar Westerman and Khalif Mitchell make it tough to move the football on the ground and difficult for a quarterback just to sit back there in the pocket. I love the linebacking core with Adam Big Hill, Solomon Elimian, and also with the free agent signing of Jamal Johnson from the Hamilton Tiger Cats. It makes this one of the best in the game. The secondary will miss Corey Banks, but Dante Marsh, Cord Parks, Ryan Phillips, and then even J.R. LaRose, they'll keep it amongst the top pass defenses in the game and keep an eye on young cornerbacks Josh Johnson out of Purdue and TJ Lee the rookie out of Eastern Washington to have big time impacts this season. Now here are some coaching points for both teams in this ball game for the Edmonton Eskimos. One way they can combat the loss of Hugh Charles in the backfield and take some of the pressure off John White in the running game. Keep in mind, they have a mobile quarterback back there in Mike Riley, so I would go with some empty sets at times. They're well stocked at receiver with all of the guys that I mentioned earlier in the video, so I would play with empty at times versus BC to spread out that secondary. And I would also go with delayed pressure versus Kevin Glenn. Remember, he's not the most mobile guy at this point in his career, so delayed pressure has a great opportunity to get there, and you have to own the line of scrimmage. You have to win up front on both sides of the ball versus the BC Lions if you want to have a chance to be successful. And for the Lions in this ball game, it's all about push versus pressure. You don't want to get outside of your rush lanes. You don't want to get over aggressive and getting to the quarterback because Mike Riley, like I mentioned before, he's very mobile and he can gas you on the ground. And those young guns at wide receiver have to play big. They have to step up and take some of the pressure off those guys in the slot. If they can do this, the passing game won't miss a beat without their key guys, Ianuzzi and also Arsenal. And you have to win in a red zone. This played the BC Lions last year. They did a great job 20 to 20 moving the football. Once they got inside the red zone, they stalled. They have to settle for field goals, and that can't happen in 2014 if they want to reach the Grey Cup. The key matchup in this ball game, I alluded to it earlier, will be Mike Riley's mobility versus the Lions' perimeter defense. They have a great linebacking core in Jamal Johnson, a free agent from the Hamilton Tiger Cats, Solomon Elimian, and also Adam Begill. They have to do a great job in keeping Mike Riley in the pocket and force him to beat them throwing the football and not with his legs. If he's allowed to get outside and gain yards on the ground and keep the defense off balance and extend the plays with his legs to hit those big plays down the field, it could be a long day for BC in this ball game. The X Factor in this ballgame for the Eskimos will be their offensive line and how well they do versus a stiff test in week one in the BC Lions defensive front. Can they keep Mike Riley well protected? Can they open up holes in a running game? Will be something that we'll be watching throughout the course of this game and also throughout the rest of the season.
The X-Factor for the Lions will be their receiving core. Like I mentioned before, they're coming in banged up missing Ian Newsy and also Arsenal, two big pieces to their passing game. And if those young guys can step up, it bodes well for these guys having a chance to knock off Edmonton in week one. Danny Boss was an all-time great for the Edmonton Eskimos who started his career with the Toronto Argonauts, played also with the Calgary St. Peters, but this is a guy that was a six-time All-Star in 1988, won the Dr. B.D. Martin Trophy, which is given to the most outstanding West defensive player, was the 1989 most outstanding defensive player in the CFL, and in 2000 was inducted in the CFL Hall of Fame. Nicknamed the Wisp, Willie Fleming was an outstanding tailback for the BC Lions, played his entire career in Vancouver, was a three-time West All-Star. His number 15 is definitely retired amongst the greats. And in 1963, he ran for over 1,200 yards at 9.7 yards a carry, and he still owns a CFL record for the longest run from scrimmage with a 109-yard touchdown run versus, ironically, the Edmonton Eskimos. Now let's take a look at our CFL Fantasy Football Huddle, give you an idea of who you should start and should sit on your fantasy football teams as it pertains to this matchup between the Eskimos and the Lions. And I would start both quarterbacks in this ball game, Mike Riley and Kevin Glenn. I would start Riley because of his ability to get outside the pockets with his legs and chew up yards on the ground. And Kevin Glenn because of his passing game and what he can do versus the secondary of Edmonton. I also look at Fred Stamps. He should see a lot of targets against the Lions defense, so he should put up some good numbers. Andrew Harris because of what he can do in the passing game and also Courtney Taylor I think another slot back for BC that should see a lot of targets and I will go with the BC Lions secondary because of what they can do man for man wise versus this potent passing attack of Edmonton and here are a couple of guys I will probably sit in this ball game starting with running back John Smith of the Edmonton Eskimos I don't think he'll see enough carries to be effective and a quartet of wide receivers due to the fact that I don't think they'll get enough targets or looks in this ball game. that's Devin Bailey and Shema Chambers for the Edmonton Eskimos and Corey Williams and Keto Publa of the BC Lions and I would also stay away from the Edmonton Eskimos defense because they're going to get an offense that's very potent and can run the football and that puts a lot of pressure on the defense so I think I would stay away from the Eskimos in this ball game fantasy football wise. I like the Lions in this ball game. This is a well-rounded football team that can beat you in many ways, but I believe their offensive line and defensive line will be the reason why they knock off Edmonton in week one and what will be the best game of the weekend because both teams bring a lot of excitement to this ball game. And I think Mike Riley will do a great job in leading the Eskimos throughout the course of the season, just not in week one versus the very tough BC Lions on the road. And don't forget to tune in live every Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time for Football Game Plan's Road to the Great Cup podcast as we break down every game on the CFL schedule, give you fantasy football advice, and also bring you all of the news, notes, and tidbits from around the Canadian Football League. And again, that's every Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time on the Football Game Plan Radio Network located at blogtalkradio.com slash footballgameplan. And I also want to give a huge shout-out to CFL Fan Forums for always showing football game plan support.